opening the book. Introductions to the Morin Center Library. Hello, this is Kathleen Hulley, the Library Manager at the Morin Center. Welcome to the tutorial, Reading in Overdrive. In this short tutorial, we will cover some of the different reading features and settings that you can use in Overdrive in order to improve your reading experience. We will explore the features that are available when reading on your computer, but you will find that many of these features are available on your e-reader and tablet as well. I will start by going to my account to select a book to read. I'll go to Loans, and then I will choose Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. So I select Read Now in Browser. And as you can see here, it says synchronized position to 3% automatically. So every time you open your ebook, it'll remember where you were last time you left off. So there's no need to try to remember what page you're on. The system automatically does that for you. So what I'm going to do is show you first how to quickly read through the book. So you just click right to go forward, left to go backwards. You can also do this with the forward arrow and the backwards arrow. And if you want to skip to a section of the book, what you do is you click in the center and then this menu pops up here and at the bottom. And if I go here, I can show set another reading setting. I could just make one page rather than two. I personally prefer to have it two pages like a real book. And then I go here and I can see another menu drops down. I can see chapters and I can see, have an overview of all the different chapters. So if you want to jump ahead, find out the ending. I will return now to the introduction. It is possible to keep track of where you are in your reading by simply clicking the center and seeing this little pop up and it tells you where you are. For instance, right now it says I'm on page 29 of 834, and I can shift that to see how many more pages there are in the chapter, and I could also see where I am in percentage. I personally like to keep it at the page numbers, and I could also scan through the book as well to go to different parts, but different chapters, but I'll go back to where, back to the introduction. So Overdrive has some really nice features to explore. For instance, let me go a few pages ahead. Ah, here. So it's possible if you find a particular passage you like to highlight it to save for later. So you just click on it and you can select a passage. For instance, I'm going to highlight this section. Choose whichever color you want, pink, green. And you could even add a note. So this section talks about nostalgia. Above all, though, and in Pride and Prejudice especially, Austin appeals to modern readers' nostalgia for a world of social, moral, and economic stability. So I'll mention nostalgia. So I'll add that there. And another possibility uh, that is really great in Overdrive, and it's great for um, ESL readers as well, is if there's a word you want to look up, you just click on it. I'll choose another word. Let's just say formal, for instance, I can define the word. This only works when you're online, but then it has a definition. Let me minimize that. So now I'll show you how bookmarks work. I'll go ahead a few pages and let's just say I wanted to bookmark this page where it talks about Austin's firsthand experiences of the world. So what you do is click in the center again to pull up the menu and you can bookmark this page. See, there's a little bookmark that's shown here and you can do that to a number of them. Oh, there's another page that had a bookmark. And what's really nice is if you want to return to these bookmarks or these highlighted texts or these notes, you can do so easily in the menu. You go to bookmarks here and you can see today I added a note, nostalgia, and you can see what I've highlighted here. I put a bookmark here, another bookmark. Yesterday there was a note about Austin's education, then a highlighted 
text as well. So you could really navigate all the passages that you saved. And that's a really wonderful feature in OverDrive to explore. It's great for book clubs, for instance, if you want to take some notes on a particular page or have some ideas you want to remember uh, and come back to during your meeting. It's really useful. Another great feature is the search function. So for instance, if I want to look up um, a particular concept through the book, uh, or if, for instance, there's a particular character that you don't remember who they are, you can always type that their name in. Uh, in this case, I'm going to look up music. I'm curious about how many times music appears in Pride and Prejudice. And I search, and I can see all the different passages, so I can skip to when Miss Bingley discusses music. Do let us have a little music, cried Miss Bingley. So these are some of the great reading settings that you could take advantage and explore in OverDrive. What is really useful is how these bookmarks, notes, highlighting, all of that stays in the, the book. And so even if you return it and borrow it a few months later, you'll still find all the same passages that you've highlighted and annotated. I now want to show you a few different ways in which you can adjust your reading, the reading settings. You go up to the menu and you go to reading settings. And here you can make the, the font smaller. So here, so you can see it's a bit smaller. You can also make it quite a bit larger there. And it also includes accessibility sizes, so I can make it actually quite a bit larger as well. So I'm going to go back. I usually choose the middle and see how, if I, I like the size, and try it for a while. It's also possible to change the background. So right now it's on bright, but on sepia, it makes it a little, a little easier for the eye sometimes. I personally like this setting. And there's also dark. So you have a few options. And even the font, um, you can change that as well. So right now it's on publisher's default, but I can change it to different uh, sans serif fonts. And even um, there's a great feature, Open Dyslexic, as well. And it does, the design here uses Open Dyslexic font to increase the readability of text for readers with dyslexia. And this is available in some of the children's books as well. So, and you can even custom as well. Choose a different font you like, um, change the spacing. So there's, there's really a lot to explore. I'm just going to go back to the publisher's default and close this. In Tips and Secrets, there are a few different reminders as well about uh, what you can explore, um, our bookmarks, etc. So there's some explanation there too. So now you're familiar with the various reading settings on OverDrive. Thank you for joining us today. Happy reading!